So, it's pouring outside when you get on a plane. If you were in a car, you'd simply switch on the windshield wipers and the headlights after turning the key in the ignition. Do pilots do that? Airplanes spark so many questions, and it's time for some answers. Do planes have windshield wipers? Yes, commercial planes do, but they're only used during taxiing, takeoff, and landing. Once a plane reaches its cruising altitude, pilots turn them off. The plane's speed is fast enough to clear the windshields from rain. Wipers might be absent on single-engine airplanes because the propeller airstream blows strong enough to keep the water away. What happens when a plane loses one engine in flight? Actually, it goes, hey, has anybody seen my engine? It was just here a second ago. No, nothing special. The plane actually just keeps flying. There are certificates for planes flying over oceans or long distances that state how long they can do it. For example, the Boeing 787 can fly for more than 5 hours without the second engine. It's enough for pilots to plan a safe landing. Well, why is it so cold on a plane? The temperature on board averages 74 degrees Fahrenheit, about the same as in most office buildings. But you feel so cold because your body doesn't move much producing less heat to warm itself. The crew doesn't turn the heat up because hot air can cause some passengers to faint during the flight. Do airplanes have horns? Yeah, and some of them have a whole trumpet section. Actually, yes, they do have horns, but pilots don't use it to scare away birds or get other aircraft's attention in the sky. Hey, move over, buddy! Actually, you can hear that high-pitched chime only on the ground when the plane isn't moving. Like when an engineer checks something in the cockpit and wants to get the attention of a ground crew member. Why do planes leave white trails in the sky? It happens when the engine burns fuel. It ejects water and carbon dioxide that gets mixed with the atmosphere. And since the air is cold at high altitude and this exhaust is hot, the water condenses and may freeze, creating those white tails. Do airplanes have brakes? Yes, there are multiple disc brakes made of carbon steel material, similar to the ones in your car. But using them only isn't enough to stop the plane when it touches the ground. The braking system also includes different surfaces that slide out of the wings and disrupt the airflow. Can a plane door open mid-flight? The cabin pressure is the force that won't let that happen. If someone tried to do it, they would have to overcome more than 24,000 pounds of pressure the weight of a ship anchor. Plus, there are lock bolts deep inside the aircraft structure that hold the door in place. What happens when lightning hits a plane? Now, statistics say this happens to every commercial plane about once a year. But the aircraft's metal parts and lightning protection systems prevent electrical buildup. So, in most cases, this leaves a plane with only a scorch mark on its surface. Why don't the seats and windows always line up? Good question! All commercial planes are designed with seats and windows perfectly aligned. But when an airline buys a jet, it often chooses to add extra seats. More seats mean more passengers and more tickets sold. And less of a view and less legroom for you. See how that works? Why do flight attendants touch the overhead compartment? You'd think that they're checking to see if it's closed tightly. But nope. They use a scalloped handrail hidden at the bottom of the overhead compartment for a steadier walk along the aisle. What are those white spiral marks on engines for? Well, since the ground staff wear hearing protection, they can't rely on their ears to decide if it's safe to approach the plane. Seeing that moving swirl on jet engines prompts them to stay away from the area. Why are there holes in airplane windows? Those windows actually have three panes of plexiglass. The tiny hole is in the middle one. It helps regulate the huge pressure difference inside and outside the cabin, so the outer pane can handle the load. If the outer pane happened to break, the middle one, even with a hole in it, would still be enough to keep the window intact. That hole also keeps the windows from fogging up. Why are there hooks on the wings? If there is an emergency landing on water, Passengers have to step on the slippery wings to use some emergency exits. That's why crew members secure one end of a rope to the door frame and the other to the wing through the hook. Another rope is secured in the second hole, safely leading passengers along the wing to the inflatable slide. 
Why do the wings have different colored lights? It's for Christmas. Now, that red light on the left wing tip, the green one on the right, and the white one on the tail make up the plane's navigational lights. They let other pilots know the plane's position and the direction it's moving in, toward them or away. Do planes have ignition keys? Well, since ignition keys are usually a security measure, most commercial planes don't need them. They're locked in hangars under 24-7 surveillance. To start the engine, a pilot just pushes buttons and turns switches. But smaller private planes, like a Cessna, have ignition keys to start the engine and even locks on the doors. Why are there triangles above the windows? These black and sometimes red stickers let the crew know which window is best to look out when they want to check the moving parts of the wing. If you get motion sickness during the flight, try to choose a seat between the triangles for a more comfortable trip. How can you get extra space on a plane? Well, if you're lucky enough to get an aisle seat, there's a magic button near the hinge under the armrest closest to the aisle. Press it, and the armrest will swing up to the back of your seat. Why are most planes white? Well, this color reflects the sun better than any other, so it helps keep a plane cool. It's also much easier to spot any cracks, dents, leaks, and other faults on the white surface. And paint makes a plane 1,200 pounds heavier, causing it to burn more fuel. Airlines save money by not painting them. Why don't airplanes have parachutes for passengers? Well, like paint, parachutes would also add extra weight, around 8,000 pounds. Plus, skydivers must go through at least 4 hours of training to learn how to handle a parachute. Lastly, jumping out of a plane at 35,000 feet in the air is simply not safe, because temperatures at that altitude are colder than the Arctic, minus 65 degrees. Why can't planes fly when it's hot? Well, the molecules in hot air are much more spread out. To lift a plane, you need dense air. That's why it gets harder for a plane to take off as the temperature increases. Besides, scorching weather can overheat the internal machinery or even melt some of its parts. So, if it gets 104 degrees Fahrenheit outside, your flight might be delayed. Why do planes have round windows? The very first commercial planes had square ones. But after some time, they started flying at a higher altitude that demanded the cabin be pressurized. Frequent pressurization and depressurization deformed and even broke windows with corners. They were replaced with round ones since they withstand the pressure much better. How do the oxygen masks work? Very well, actually. If the cabin is depressurized at cruising altitude, it loses oxygen. The masks provide that, but only for 15 minutes. It's okay, though. That's long enough for the pilot to descend lower than 10,000 feet, where the air has more oxygen and people can breathe normally. What causes turbulence? Your trip gets bumpy because of three main reasons – storms, mountains, and jet streams. Just like an ocean, air creates waves when it meets a mountain. And sometimes it has nowhere to go but up in strong currents affecting a plane. Jet streams are bands of swift winds that appear when warm air masses collide with cold ones. Storm clouds push air away, creating unpredictable waves. Why do planes sometimes dump fuel? If there's an emergency landing, pilots must quickly get rid of excess weight, since they didn't burn it, and get to the destination runway as light as they should be. The lighter the plane, the softer it'll touch the ground, so no blown tires or fire. Why are the doors on the left side? Well, the captain usually sits on that side, so aligning the plane with the terminal jet bridge is easier. They fuel the aircraft and load baggage on the right side. If passengers are coming in on the left, it doesn't disturb those crews. Why do they dim the lights during takeoff and landing? It takes your eyes up to 30 minutes to fully adjust to a dark setting. Dimming the lights at night or dusk prepares them in case passengers need to make an emergency exit. They fade the lights during the day to save some engine power. Why are most plane seats blue? This color is psychologically associated with safety and reliability, so flight-weary passengers feel less anxious. Besides, stains and dirt are less visible on blue seats. 
now we know. 